Hello Explorers, World Traveller here, your guide to the most awe-inspiring spots across the globe. Today, we're going to explore the top 10 must-visit destinations in the vibrant state of Gujarat, which is located in the western part of India. This state is a cultural, historical and natural gem, offering a spectrum of experiences that will surely leave you spellbound. From the enchanting white desert of Kutch that takes on a magical aura under moonlight, to the spine-chilling roar of Asiatic lions in the Gir National Park, the tranquil Sabarmati Ashram soaking in history, and the spiritual ambience of the ancient temples, every corner of Gujarat has a unique narrative. Each site we'll visit carries its unique allure, a wealth of exhilarating experiences waiting to be discovered. So, fasten your seatbelts as we embark on this thrilling journey to the top 10 must-visit destinations in the vibrant state of Gujarat. Let's get started. Before we plunge into the white expanse of the Ran of Kutch, let's make a pit stop at the historic city of Buj. This city is the gateway to the Ran of Kutch and it's brimming with a rich history and cultural vibrancy that perfectly sets the tone for our journey ahead. Buj is famed for its splendid palaces, ornate temples and grandiose havelis, each echoing tales of its glorious past. One of the must-visit spots here is the Aina Mahal, a magnificent palace that literally translates to mirror palace. This 18th century marvel is adorned with beautiful mirrors, tiles and fountains, a perfect blend of Indian and European architectural styles. And then there's the Bujia Fort, perched atop a hill, offering a panoramic view of the entire city. But Buj isn't just about the past. It's a living, breathing city with bustling bazaars filled with local handicrafts like Bandani saris, Gucci embroidery and traditional silver jewellery. As you explore the city, the air is filled with the aroma of local delicacies like Gucci Dabeli and Bajia, a treat for your taste buds. Yes, Buj is a city that engages all your senses, a perfect prelude to the enchanting journey that lies ahead in Gujarat. As we leave the historic city of Buj behind, our journey takes us to a lesser-known gem, the Nerona village. This small hamlet, tucked away in the Kutch district, is a hub of traditional arts and crafts that have been preserved and passed down through generations. Nirona is the only place in the world where you can witness the unique art of Rogan painting, a delicate and intricate art form that uses castor-based paint. The Katri family, the last remaining practitioners of this ancient art, will welcome you into their home, where you can observe their skilled hands creating magic on fabric, but Rogan painting is not the only craft that Nirona boasts. The village is also home to craftsmen skilled in copper bell making and lacquer work. As you wander through the narrow lanes of Nirona, you'll hear the melodious chime of copper bells, see vibrant lacquerware being created, and feel the warmth and passion of the artisans who keep these traditions alive. Nirona village is more than just a stop on our journey. It's a testament to the resilience and creativity of the human spirit, a living museum, that keeps the rich cultural heritage of Kutch alive. Our journey continues as we travel from the artistic lanes of Nirona to another cultural hotbed, Bujodi. This village, located just 8 kilometers from Buj, is a bustling center of art and craft, home to over a thousand artisans. The village is particularly known for its handloom weaving, with visitors getting the chance to watch master weavers at work their hands moving in a rhythmic dance as they create beautiful textiles. The Hiralaxmi Craft Park, a part of the village, is a one-stop destination that showcases the rich tapestry of Kuch's artisanal tradition. Here you can witness live demonstrations of weaving, block printing, bandhani and other crafts. It's not just about observing though. You can interact with the artisans, understand their techniques and even try your hands at some of these crafts. And don't forget to pick up a souvenir or two from the craft shops that line the village streets. Each piece a testament to the skill and dedication of Bujodi's artisans. From Bujodi, we will head towards the mesmerizing Ran of Kutch. As we journey from the artistic village of Bujodi, our next destination is the intriguing town of Mandvi. Once a bustling port, Mandvi is a harmonious blend of history, culture and natural beauty. As the former summer retreat of the Mahara of Kutch, the town is home to the Grand Vijay Vilas Palace. This exquisite palace, set amidst sprawling gardens and with views of the Arabian Sea, is an architectural marvel that showcases the opulence of the Kutch rulers. The palace's intricate jali work, ornamental tile work, 
and stone carvings are a testament to the craftsmanship of the artisans of the time. But it's not all about history and architecture. Mandvi is also known for its pristine beaches, particularly the Mandvi Beach, where the gentle waves of the Arabian Sea lap against the golden sands. Here, you can enjoy a leisurely camel ride along the beach or simply sit back and soak in the picturesque sunset. The town is also famous for its traditional shipbuilding yard, where skilled craftsmen still build ships by hand, using age-old techniques passed down through generations. This is a site that is as fascinating as it is rare. As we leave the enchanting town of Mandvi, we gear up for our next adventure, the mesmerizing Ran of Kutch. As we bid farewell to the charming town of Manvi, our journey continues towards a hidden gem nestled on the edge of the Ran of Kutch, the captivating town of Lakpat. Once a prosperous port city, Lakpat now stands as a hauntingly beautiful ghost town. Its 18th century fort walls, stretching 7 kilometers, enclose a city that was once filled with life and now whispers tales of a bygone era. Stand atop the fort walls and take in the panoramic view of the vast barren run. As you wander through the deserted streets, don't miss the Gurudwara Lakpat Sahib, a sacred Sikh shrine that has stood the test of time. This historic Gurudwara is a beacon of faith and spirituality, offering a serene escape from the outside world. Also, make sure to visit the Lakpat Fort, a living testament to the city's glorious past. The fort's ruins, with their intricate carvings and architecture, offer a fascinating glimpse into the city's rich history. Lakpat is a place of stark contrasts, where desolation meets beauty, silence meets stories, and ruins meet resilience. It's a place that will leave you with a sense of awe and a thirst for exploring the lesser-known corners of Gujarat. As we leave the echoes of Lakpat behind, we look forward to our next stop, the mesmerizing Ran of Kutch. Leaving the captivating Lakpat behind, we make our way to one of the most remarkable archaeological sites in India, Dolavira. Situated on the island of Kadir, Dolavira is known for its ancient Indus Valley civilization ruins dating back over 4,500 years. This site provides a unique insight into the sophisticated urban planning and architecture of one of the world's oldest civilizations. As we wander through the remains of the ancient city, we can see the remnants of a well-planned city with distinct zones for rulers, middle-class people and workers. The city's advanced water conservation system is a testament to the ingenuity of its builders. Dolavira also boasts a collection of 10 large inscriptions, one of the most significant collections of ancient scripts in the world. As you explore this ancient city, the silence is broken only by the whispers of the wind, telling tales of a civilization long lost, yet preserved here in the sands of time. This tranquil journey into antiquity serves as a fitting prelude to our next destination, the mesmerizing run of Kutch. After the tranquil serenity of Dolavira, we journey onward to Kalo Dungar, also known as the Black Hill. Standing as the highest point in Kutch, Gujarat, Kalo Dungar provides a panoramic view of the Great Run. As we ascend the winding road, the view gradually unfolds, revealing a surreal landscape that seems to belong to another world. The stark contrast between the arid brown hill and the vast white expanse of the salt desert is a sight to behold. The hill is also home to the Datatreya Temple, a place of pilgrimage that is steeped in myth and legend. According to local folklore, Lord Datatreya found a band of starving jackals here and offered them his own body to eat. Instead of dying, he regenerated, and since then the jackals of the area are considered his descendants and are fed by the temple priests. This intriguing blend of natural beauty and mythology adds a unique flavor to our journey, setting the stage for our next destination, the mesmerizing Ran of Kutch. Of Before we dive into the vast expanse of the Ran of Kutch, let's take a detour to the fascinating Hodka village. Nestled between the two, Hodka is a hidden gem known for its vibrant arts and crafts. As we stroll through the narrow lanes of this charming village, we are greeted by a riot of colors and patterns. The houses or pungas are adorned with intricate mudwork and mirror inlays, reflecting the rich artistic heritage of the Kutch region. The villagers are renowned for their handicrafts, especially their embroidery and leatherwork. Each piece tells a story, each thread weaves a tale of tradition and resilience. The villagers are warm and welcoming, offering an intimate glimpse into their lives and culture. 
From here, we can also catch a glimpse of the Ran, a tantalizing preview of the ethereal beauty that awaits us. Hodka Village is not just a place, it's an experience, a testament to the spirit of Kutch, making our journey to the Ran of Kutch all the more enriching. As we bid farewell to Hodka Village, it's time to immerse ourselves in the vibrant culture of Kutch. This region is a melting pot of various communities, each with its unique traditions and crafts. Let's start with the local music, the soulful folk tunes of Kutch, echoing with the rhythms of the desert. You can't help but tap your foot to the vibrant beats of the Dahol and the enchanting notes of the Morchang. Moving on, we encounter the exquisite craftsmanship of Kutchi artisans. From the colorful Bandhani textiles to the intricate silver jewelry, each piece is a testament to the region's rich artistic heritage. But it's not just about the crafts, the local cuisine is equally captivating. The Kuchi Dabali, a spicy and sweet sandwich, is a must try. As we explore the culture of Kuch, we get a deeper understanding of the people, their way of life, and the vibrant spirit that permeates this region. It's the perfect prelude to our upcoming journey into the mesmerizing Ran of Kuch. From the cultural vibrancy of Kuch, we now move on to the natural splendor of the Bani grasslands. Located on the outskirts of the Ran of Kuch, these grasslands are a hidden gem of Gujarat. Sprawling over an area of 3,847 square kilometers, it's the largest grassland in Asia, teeming with a rich diversity of flora and fauna. The Bani grasslands are a bird watcher's paradise, home to numerous migratory birds like flamingos, pelicans, and cranes. The grasslands are also the habitat of the endangered Indian wild ass and the chinkara. But it's not just about the wildlife here. The Bani grasslands are also home to the nomadic community of the Maldaris, who have lived here for centuries, coexisting with the environment in a perfect symbiotic relationship. Their lifestyle and culture, centered around cattle rearing, are as fascinating as the landscape itself. As we traverse through these grasslands, we're not just exploring a place, we're experiencing a way of life. This is the perfect transition from the vibrant culture of Kutch to the ethereal beauty of the Ran. Our adventure begins with the awe-inspiring Ran of Kutch. This enchanting expanse of white is one of the world's largest salt deserts, stretching an incredible 7,500 square miles. It's a place where boundaries blur, where earth and sky unite as one. Beyond its natural allure, the Ran of Kutch also plays host to a lively celebration of regional culture called the Ran Utsav. This annual event is a tribute to local art, music and dance, transforming the stark white desert into a vibrant tableau of human spirit and ingenuity. The Utsav reveals the rich and varied traditions of this region, providing an interactive experience that extends beyond mere sightseeing. Picture yourself standing in the center of this vast salt desert, beneath a star-studded sky, amidst echoing sounds of music and laughter. Indeed, a tour of Gujarat is not fulfilled without experiencing the celestial beauty of the Ran of Kutch. Our voyage through Gujarat's top 10 must-visit sites has been nothing short of extraordinary. From the celestial beauty of the Ran of Kutch to the majestic lions in Gir National Park, from the serene Sabarmati Ashram to the sacred Dwarkadish and Somnath temples, each location has left an unforgettable imprint on us. This is World Traveller signing off. Until our next escapade, stay inquisitive and keep discovering. Next up, we venture into the wild at the Gir National Park. This is no ordinary park. It's a testament to India's rich biodiversity and a sanctuary for the regal Asiatic lion. As the last refuge for these majestic creatures, Gir echoes with the powerful roars that once filled forests across the country. The park spreads over 1,400 square kilometers, embracing a variety of landscapes from dry, deciduous forests to grasslands. It's not just about lions, though. The park is home to an array of wildlife, including leopards, antelopes, and over 300 species of birds. Gir National Park is a beacon of conservation efforts, safeguarding a unique ecosystem and the king of the jungle. It's an unmissable journey through India's natural heritage, a chance to witness the wild heart of Gujarat beating strong. The roar of the lion amidst the serene wilderness of Gir is an experience that stays with you. We now step back in time at the Sabarmati Ashram. This tranquil haven nestled on the banks of the Sabarmati River holds a special place in India's history. It was not only the residence of Mahatma Gandhi, 
the father of the nation, but also served as the epicenter of the Indian independence movement. Imagine walking on the same ground where Gandhi lived for nearly 12 years, leading a simple life of self-sufficiency. It was from here that he launched the historic Dandi March, a significant event in the struggle for India's freedom. The ashram now houses a museum, aptly titled Gandhi Smarak Sangrahalaya, which showcases a vivid and intimate account of Gandhi's life and his efforts towards India's independence. A visit to the Sabarmati ashram is like taking a journey through the pages of history, immersing oneself in the profound ideals of truth and non-violence that Gandhi embodied. The Sabarmati ashram is a testament to the power of peace and non-violence. We now find ourselves at the sacred Dwarkadish temple. This architectural marvel, with its towering spires and intricate carvings, is steeped in rich history. Nestled in the ancient city of Dwarka, this temple is more than 2,000 years old, a living testament to the enduring strength of faith. The Dwarkadish temple holds a special place in Hindu mythology. It is believed to be the dwelling place of Lord Krishna, making it a significant pilgrimage site for devotees. The temple's magnificent edifice stands on the banks of the Gomti River, a site that has awed pilgrims and travelers for centuries. The temple's beauty is not just in its grandeur, but also in its intricate design. From the detailed carvings to the awe-inspiring dome, every aspect of the temple whispers tales of devotion and spirituality. The air is heavy with the scent of incense and the echoes of ancient prayers, creating an atmosphere of divine serenity. The Dwarkadish temple stands as an enduring symbol of devotion and spirituality. Next, we pay homage at the ancient Somnath temple. Known as the Eternal Shrine, this temple holds a significant place in the heart of India. Its history is a tale of destruction and reconstruction, having been demolished and rebuilt several times over the centuries, each time rising from the ashes like a phoenix. The temple's resilience is a mirror to the enduring faith of the Indian people, a symbol of their constant devotion. It stands today as a beacon of hope and perseverance. Nestled on the western coast of Gujarat, the temple's stunning location near the Arabian Sea adds a unique charm to its grandeur. The waves of the sea lapping against the temple walls create an aura of tranquility, further enhancing the spiritual experience. The Somnath Temple is not just a place of worship, but also a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity in the face of adversity. The Somnath Temple is a testament to the resilience and faith of the Indian people. Our journey now takes us to Ahmedabad, Gujarat's largest city, a place where past and present coexist. Ahmedabad is rich in cultural heritage, which is evident in its numerous temples, mosques and historical sites. It's a city where every corner tells a story, where every monument speaks of an era gone by. Imagine strolling through bustling markets where vendors sell everything from textiles to handicrafts, each item a testament to the city's artistic tradition. The aroma of local delicacies wafts through the air, teasing your senses and inviting you to indulge in Ahmedabad's delightful cuisine. The city's gastronomy boasts a unique blend of sweet, sour and spicy flavors, a culinary journey you won't forget. In recognition of its cultural significance, Ahmedabad was declared a UNESCO World Heritage City, the first of its kind in India. This status reflects the city's ability to preserve its historical roots while embracing modernity. Ahmedabad's vibrant culture and history truly make it a city that never sleeps. Our journey through Gujarat has been nothing short of extraordinary. As we retrace our steps, we can't help but marvel at the diverse experiences this westernmost state of India has to offer. The run of Kutch, a salt marsh in the Thar Desert, was our first stop. Its stark white landscape against the azure sky is a sight that's truly out of this world. The Ran Otsav, a cultural festival that takes place here every year, is a must-see event that showcases the vibrant culture and traditions of the region. Next, we ventured into the wilderness of Gir National Park, the only place in the world where you can witness Asiatic lions in their natural habitat. The thrill of spotting these majestic creatures is an experience that's hard to put into words. We then paid a visit to the Sabarmati Ashram, a place that breathes history. This is where Mahatma Gandhi, the father of the nation, lived and strategized India's freedom movement. The tranquility that prevails here is a stark contrast to the bustling city outside. Our spiritual journey led us to the holy city of Dwarka, home to the revered Dwarkadish temple. 
The architectural grandeur of this ancient temple left us in awe. And then we visited the Somnath Temple, another significant pilgrimage site, known for its stunning shoreline and the mesmerizing sound of the waves crashing against the shore. We capped off our journey in Ahmedabad, a city that beautifully blends tradition with modernity. Its rich history, vibrant culture, delectable cuisine and warm hospitality make it a city worth exploring. Each of these places tells a unique story and together they weave the vibrant tapestry that is Gujarat. Whether you're a history buff, a wildlife enthusiast, a spiritual seeker or a foodie, Gujarat has something for everyone. So pack your bags, lace up your travel boots and come explore this beautiful land of contrast yourself. This is World Traveler signing off. Until our next adventure, stay curious and keep exploring.